Hey, what's up, guys? Mark Lum is here. This video is quite a very um, brief tutorial for most beginners. And if you're just getting started with AutoCAD, you can watch this video. Actually, I did a video which I showed the description on how to get started with AutoCAD interface. But in this video, I will show you how to set your basic settings before you get started to draw a single line in AutoCAD. Actually, I just like this white face and um, if you think you don't really like it you can change it by pressing op for option and you can change this back to dark and your color back to black so then you can click apply but i don't really like this black so i will go with the light and um, i'll go back with my white okay and i need my grid so the first settings we need to learn now is the unit we need to set the unit of the dimensions that we're going to use so press unit on your keyboard The brush you need. Okay, you need, and then you can leave this one at decimal point zero. We're using millimeter, so dimension degree. Yes, that's what we need. Point zero zero. You can use international, you can use unit of specifying the intensity of light and um, the direction. I'll we'll go with note for 90, then click OK and click OK. That is our first unit. Now, the second unit, the second sentence, sorry, that we need to set is um, the limit, which means the the kind of paper that we will be using for the, the, the drawing we want to make. So the first one is press limit on your keyboard and press enter. Then press 0, comma, 0, then press enter. Then you can specify the paper you're going for. Let's say we're going for 279,000, comma, to 10,000 for the A4 then we press enter so the next thing we need to press now is Z enter then E enter to show that everything has been set properly you will see a generating model there so that is how to set the first setting you need to you know to do with your drawing it then the next one is at the annotate here where you set your your dimension style and your text style so this is to set your dimension style standard then manage text style then we need to click on new then maybe you want to use your name i can use my name what is my clue let's go for that so you can use any other thing and then you can change the height let's say we want to go for 200 mm and then you can change the font name to either tauma let's go for that and um, you can click on apply then close so to set our dimension style click on the dimension there and manage dimension style then this pops up and we create new okay let's say we're going with my name again Mark Lumi uh, Mark Lumi sorry and continue so the line we can leave it if we like this color 
and then we can change our offset maybe we'll try to five we can change this but you see it's too far so we can change it back to one it will be like that we can change this to one also and then we go to the symbol and arrow we change this to architectural tick okay since you like every of this so we need to put this above dimension text then we go to our text and select the text we've created and let's go build so the unit here we need to set it to point zero and then is there any other thing you can feel due to your own taste i don't know how you feel you can set yours so everything i have set the way i love it and i can click on okay so then i click this and i set current then i close so guys i know you're watching this video and i know you like it now the next video that i will be making is introducing you to the draw toolbar on how to start drawing with autocad so guys i want you to click on the subscribe button yes the red button destroy it click it break it and give this video a thumbs up button a thumbs up <laughs> a thumbs up man you know and to join this conversation you don't need to pay for it you just need to make use of the comment section to tell me anything or to ask any question so guys let's catch in the next tutorial